Welcome to The Naomi Show. Hello there and welcome to The Naomi Show. And I'm here with psychologist John Aiken and author of Accidentally Single, The 15 Mistakes That Ruin Romance and How to Avoid Them. And one of those mistakes is having a negative attitude. And John, what do you mean about people having a negative attitude when it comes to relationships? Well, I think this is one of the most common obstacles that people put up, often unknowingly, yeah. that hold them back. And what it means is that it is an attitude, it is a mindset that is essentially taking them out of the game mm. before they've even started. So, for instance, you'll say, you know, what's, what's going on in your love life? Oh, you can't trust men. They're terrible. Yes. Or all the good ones are taken. Or they'll say things like, uh, I, I just had this the other day. Someone was saying, well, guys won't go out with me because of my age. Uh, they're only into young, pretty things. Yeah. And so what ends up happening is that uh, essentially they feel like they're single and available, but in fact their mindset makes them totally unavailable. Yeah. It's a tough one though, isn't it? Because people have a negative attitude. They often feel it's realistic, that being too optimistic is not realistic and you're riding for a fall, you can then get hurt. Um, and that to say all men are bastards when that's what's happened to yeah. them or that's what they've seen. But do you think to a certain extent it becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy? Men who say, or all women are too demanding, again, that's what shows up in their life. Yep. How does that all work? It's a real dynamic. Well, th that's very true. You know, you, if you've got that type of attitude and mindset, you, you tend to turn onto it. Yeah. And you look around and start picking up evidence that confirms it. So you go a out. a bit like when you're going to buy a red car and then everywhere That's you look right. there are red cars. You know? That's right. You'll, you'll go to a bar and you'll come across someone who's very uh, opinionated and domineering and you'll spend some time with them and say, well, there's another example. You know, women are demanding. And uh, so what you've got to be aware of is that that attitude is essentially, it doesn't matter how good you look and what suit you got on and how great your shoes are, if you've got a negative attitude, it is taking you out of the game. And probably one of the biggest ones that I find that's so detrimental to people is that they say dating's all about rejection and I can't cope with rejection. Yeah, uh, yeah. And that holds them back because they just get too anxious, they get scared of the dating process and they avoid it. So how does it affect potential partners? Well, what happens is that they get turned off fairly early on because there you are, say, at a dinner party, chatting away. Uh, there's a hot guy across from you. You're thinking, this is great. Uh, and then the subject of uh, marriage comes up and, and suddenly you'll say, well, I, I don't know whether you can really trust guys. You know, and, and in my experience, uh, this has happened, that's happened. And, you know, they, they don't tend to tell the truth. And very shortly, you've yeah. um, essentially... Uh, turn them off. Well, that is a turn off, isn't you know, it? So you've got to be aware that when you are standing in front of someone, they are going to be listening intently to what comes out of your mouth. And if early on it's a negative statement or an attitude or a mindset, uh, they are going to move on. So what are some of the behaviours that are associated with a negative attitude? I imagine complaining about the past is obviously one of them. That's a classic. So bringing up old exes and, and pain of the past being really bitter and cynical. Yeah. Uh, a classic is putting yourself down. Mm. You know, I remember sitting at a uh, waterfront uh, bar one time, meeting a woman. She was delightful. And I said, you know, and we got talking about relationships. And I said, well, you know, there's a lot of guys here. She said, oh, for forget it. You know, I'm too old. And look, they're all, they're all after those young girls there. And look at this dress on me anyway. It's not, I'm not, look, I don't feel great. Mm -hmm. and, so and unfortunately, it didn't matter how many available guys were there, she was not going to be meeting anyone that night. And so uh, keep in mind putting yourself down is, is, a, is, a, is a sign that that attitude is wrong. And I guess also trying to avoid social situations comes from a negative attitude because you think, well, why should I bother? It's always yeah. a disappointment. Yeah. It's always a, it comes across as a failure, doesn't it? I mean, yeah. some people feel that their dating life is a failure yeah. and obviously that affects the way they, they look at that's the dating, doesn't it? That's exactly right. Yeah. They see themselves as a failure. They see the process. If it doesn't work out or they have a bad date, then they're rejected or not good enough. And so they have these very, very strong meanings that they attach to the dating game. And what we'll talk about next time is how you need to look at it differently to take the personal element out of it. Yes. Because you and I both know, we've both been there dating when it knocks you off your feet, you have to be able to pick yourself up again. You have to be resilient, otherwise that negative attitude wins out. But obviously people who have a negative attitude, there's some kind of a payoff, isn't there? 
Yes. Well, that yeah. payoff would be if you're constantly complaining all the time about the problems and the issues and the fact that all men are like this or no women out there can meet yeah. this expectation, then what happens is people tend to rally around you. They prop you up, they give you attention and they you say everything's the going to be all right. Mm -hmm. Yes, and you get to play the victim. And also, you don't actually get uh, to allow anyone to get close to you. And sometimes people don't feel that comfortable. So it's much easier to complain about the world than be vulnerable, open yourself up and let someone in. Well, it would. You'd be able to avoid hurt, wouldn't you? Or you potentially getting hurt yeah. if, you, if you got into a relationship. Yeah, absolutely. And, and, and so you often see people who will have been single for long periods of time. They'll have all sorts of excuses for it. But at the end of the day, they don't want to put themselves out there for that potential hurt. So if you have a feeling that you might have a little bit of a negative attitude, what can you do about it? Well, John will be back next time to tell you a couple of different things that will help. Your love life, let's talk about it at naomishow.com.